mercy it endures until the end in the gospel of john the sixth chapter i want to read in your hearing verse 35 and jesus said to them i am the bread of life he who comes to me shall never hunger and he who believes in me shall never thirst that's good news hallelujah that's good news because every spiritual need that we have that which really sustains us you know natural bread it'll hold you for a little bit but that spiritual bread that we need hallelujah jesus has given all unto us we have been blessed with every spiritual blessing in christ jesus and now hallelujah we can walk in confidence and and now we can trust in him because why he will supply every need every one of our needs we have a savior that loves us we have a savior that died for us we have a savior that rose from the grave triumphantly who declares that all power belongs to him hallelujah who holds the keys of hell death and the grave who cannot be stopped hallelujah who made a public spectacle out of the enemy hallelujah who's coming back one day hallelujah he's not coming back as someone that's going to be crucified but he's coming back like a lion and all will see and all will know that he is lord he's lord of the heavens he's lord of the earth he's lord of his people and that's good news to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your your sins. Romans 10 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. 
Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.